welcome back to my channel and welcome to another meal plan and grocery haul. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Christy and today is, what is it? Saturday, April 25th. I just now sat down and I'm having my cup of coffee. If you're new to my channel, I currently follow the WW Blue program, but I will always provide you the points for all three programs and also any recipes on my website, planningishealthy.com, will include the nutritional facts as well. So if you are not following Weight Watchers or WW, you can go there and find the nutrition facts. I also meal prep for my husband and I for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. We usually have the same breakfast and the same lunch, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Sometimes we might you know, throw something different in there and bump one of those to Thursday. But for the most part, that's pretty much how we eat. So this is definitely not meant to show you, you know, some people don't like to eat the same things every day. So this, this is just how we do it. And just to give you some ideas of things that you can do. So this is what I'm planning on. For snacks this week, I'm doing cantaloupe and blueberries and that zero points. Sugar-free pudding is two points and I forgot to write the points for my popcorn. And popcorn is three. I just use the Orville Redenbacher regular popcorn and pop it myself in the microwave. Sometimes I'll have pudding at night, sometimes I will have popcorn. And I actually got some Cool Whip too. So this week I will probably do like blueberries with Cool Whip or sometimes I put Cool Whip with my pudding. That's really good too. I kind of mix it up, make it like a chocolate mousse. So good. All right, for breakfast prep this week, I'm doing a stuffed French toast. I got this recipe off of, I think it was called Meal on Fleek or something. Let me check real quick. It is meal, meal prep on fleek. So it's a French toast, stuffed French toast. So that's what I'm planning this week for breakfast prep. And that is gonna be three points on blue, three points on purple, and four points on green. And then of course my two cups of coffee that I have every single morning, that will be two points. I use the sugar-free great value French vanilla. So the stuffed French toast is gonna be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Thursday, I'm just gonna do an oatmeal packet for three points with fruit. And then Friday, I usually do just do yogurt and fruit on Friday. Usually Friday nights, our dinners are a little bit higher points, so I try and create, keep my breakfast low that morning. Lunch prep this week is a recipe I found off of Weight Watchers website and that is teriyaki chicken with rice and vegetables. They actually use um, peas in it, like sugar snap peas. I think I may add some broccoli, haven't decided yet. So that's gonna be four points for that, and it is one point on purple and six points on green. So of course, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday for that. Thursday, I think I'm gonna do a tuna salad on lettuce for two points. And then I may do Friday, I'm thinking maybe a grilled cheese for four points with soup for one. So I got some Progresso soup. I did not realize those were so low in points, so I'm excited to have those. If I don't have those, I may end up having egg salad. So I mentioned last week that I was gonna do egg salad with the queso that my friend Lois introduced me to. I never ended up doing it this past week, so I may end up trying that. I forgot all about that. I may, I really, really wanna try that. I was gonna try it this weekend and things have just been really crazy. And I just, honestly, I haven't had time to make my eggs, so that's why. So I may, I may try that. Maybe one of the days, the end of next week, I will shoot for that egg salad with the queso. And then, let's see, for dinners this week, as you can see, that says trout. Yes, it says trout. I have never had trout before, but as you'll see when I do my grocery haul, they gave me trout instead of salmon. So I did the Instacart delivery and they gave me the wrong kind. So I'm gonna do trout with rice and Brussels sprouts. That's gonna be four points because it's one point for the cheese and zero for the Brussels sprouts, three points for the rice and zero for the trout. So on green, the whole dinner will be six points and on purple, the whole dinner will be four. Tuesday night, I'm gonna make homemade turkey and ham subs. I'm estimating that's gonna be about nine points. Uh, the sub buns that I have are five points. So nine points, I think probably will do it with the cheese and the meat. And then I just load it up with vegetables, banana peppers. Uh, it depends on if I decide to do put mayonnaise on it. Sometimes I just put mustard. So it depends on how I'm feeling that night. And then I think I'm gonna have some soup with that for one point. 
Wednesday night, I'm going to make garlic Parmesan pork chops. So I don't have a recipe for this one, but it's gonna be, I'm gonna use the garlic Parmesan topping that I usually use for the salmon. I think it's gonna turn out really well on the pork chops. I'm excited to try it. So that's gonna be seven points. I will link in the description box, I'll link the recipe for the garlic Parmesan salmon. And just know that I'm gonna be doing it exactly the same way, but I'm gonna be using pork chops. It may take a little bit longer to cook the pork chops than it does the salmon. So that's gonna be seven points for that. I'm gonna have it with mashed potatoes for three points and cucumbers for zero. And that's for all three programs, I believe. You know, I'm just using the instant mashed potatoes. They're like instant baby reds. And I'm not sure if I'm purple, those are different or not. So don't quote me on that. That might not be three points on purple for those potatoes. Thursday night, I another Weight Watchers recipe. I saw a recipe they had in the in one of the cookbooks. I think it's online too. It's a chicken parm sandwich, and it looked so good. So I'm gonna plan on that for Thursday night. That's seven points for blue and purple and eight points for green. And I'm gonna just do that with a side salad. I put three, just depends what I put in my salad. Uh, usually I use the light Italian dressing. So, and I don't, I usually just load it up with vegetables. And then Friday night I'm gonna do, probably. I think we're probably gonna do homemade burgers with steak fries. And I'm estimating that to be 12 points. Again, just depends on how I make the burgers. I have A1 written there because I'm probably gonna make some kind of A1 burgers. If you look at the back of the A1 bottle, there's a recipe on there for A1, A1 burgers and it's actually, actually pretty good. So I'll just use extra lean burger and make those. And then the steak fries, those are, I'll show you those. I got those in my uh, grocery house, so I'll show you those. So that's it. The weekend, as I mentioned, I don't normally plan out, but I'm thinking maybe pizza Saturday night or homemade, uh, do ha homemade pizzas. And then Sunday, I may do a pot roast in the slow cooker. So I'm trying to put together also, speaking of pot roast, that's a slow cooker meal. I'm trying to put, a, put together some videos for some freezer meal slash slow cooker meals and also some casserole dishes. So it's been something that I've been wanting to do for a long time. And it's just a matter of figuring out how to fit it all in, but I'll figure it out and show you how I do those. And I, as always, I will link this meal planner book down in the description box below. I will also link a video that I did. I did a review of this book, so I will link that down below as well as all the recipes that I have. So now I will show you my grocery haul. All right, everyone, so before I show you my grocery haul, I wanted to show you a couple things that I picked up from Dollar General. So I went to Dollar General to check to see if they had toilet paper. I mentioned to some of you, I've not been able to find toilet paper or uh, paper towels. And so I went to Dollar General and they had them. So I can happily say I have toilet paper and paper towels. But I thought this was really cute that they had and I thought it would go good on my stove. Something else they had was these glass measuring cups. I thought these were so cute. So they've got the quarter cup and a third of a cup, a half a cup, and a cup. I thought those were cute. I think they were like $4, something like that. And again, this was at Dollar General. And something else I got was this little note holder, paper holder, whatever you call it. I usually put like, when I write sticky notes, I put that in there. TGIF, this grandma is fabulous. I thought that was super cute. And Finally, uh, some kitchen towels because, you know, somebody in the kitchen can never have too many kitchen tiles, and I love this one. Never trust a skinny cook. Okay, now I'll show you my grocery haul. Here is my grocery haul for the week, and I had Aldi Instacart and also Publix Instacart. So Publix I actually just got today. I am a day behind on getting all my filming done. Publix I just got today, and... Aldi I got yesterday so I just pulled this out of the freezer just for now just to show you so as you can see this has already been in the freezer uh, so we'll start with Aldi I picked up some chicken breast and of course that's zero on purple and blue and it is two points for three ounces on green I picked up these, they're thin sliced sirloin tip steak. So these are good for fajitas 
and I have a recipe next week that I'm actually going to be using those for so I'm excited to try those for the recipe I have coming next week these are the petite sirloin steaks that we get we usually have steaks on the weekend and those usually from what I can figure oh, I didn't tell you the points on these so from what I could figure I had to do a search on these and I just found one for sirloin tip steak that's what I used and it said that it was five points for three ounces and then the petite sirloin steak comes out to six points for four ounces. And then steelhead trout. I've never had this. I actually ordered wild caught salmon, the sockeye salmon, and they claimed that they replaced it with the cedar plank salmon, but this is what I got. So I didn't even notice this to report it on Instacart. I did notice a couple other things that I reported. You can report any things that they have wrong and you can either request a refund, request money uh, like a credit back onto your Instacart, or if it's just something minor and you just wanna let them know, then you can do that. So I chose to just let them know about the trout because I am gonna try it. I'm going to give it a try and so I've always kind of been wanting to try it so I figure why ask for my money back when it's something that I am going to try. And then I got some uh, raspberries, some blackberries, some corn on the cob. Look how good this looks y'all. Oh that looks so good and that is zero points for blue and purple and four it comes out to four points it says for green. Um, I'm not sure I guess that's for one whole ear. But for me, it's zero because I'm on blue. So zero, zero. And then I got some Brussels sprouts. My favorite Brussels sprout are the baby Brussels sprouts, but they didn't have any, so they replaced them with these, and that was fine. Those are zero. Got a couple things of broccoli, some sugar snap peas for the lunch, some green onion just because I like green onion on quite a few things. Some butter, two points for one and an eighth tablespoons. Some lettuce, Roma tomatoes. I needed some more sugar for my coffee. And then my husband's orange juice. And I forgot to write that down. That's six points for one cup. I uh, got some egg whites. So for recipes, you saw when I made the eggs, if anybody watched my meal prep last week, you saw the recipe that I was using. It was an Emily Bites recipe and it called for, I think four eggs and two egg whites. I don't know what it is, but there's something about me that doesn't like to waste an egg to get the egg whites. So I'm gonna start buying them this way. And that way when something calls for a combination of the two, I'll use regular eggs and then I'll use egg whites, um, the liquid egg whites. So zero points on all programs. I also got some yogurt. This is the friend, Friendly Farms light non-fat yogurt, but I actually asked for the Greek. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to use this because the recipe that I'm making calls for Greek. So I'm gonna to have to do a little bit of research. I may just try it and see how it comes out, uh, but we'll see. And that's zero on blue and purple and one point on green for whatever the serving size is, uh, two thirds of a cup. And then I got some light sour cream. That's two points for two tablespoons. Some canned potatoes, just because I always like to have those in the house. Uh, those are two points for two potatoes. And there's like two and a half servings in each. Yeah, two and a half servings in each container. I got some banana peppers for the night that we have subs. I got some skipjack tuna. Uh, they actually replaced this. I can't remember what the other kind, whoops, I don't know if you can see that. Anyway, it's the sustainably caught skipjack tuna and that is pretty good. I ordered two bags of steak fries. This is one of the things that I uh, had reported that they got incorrectly. I was going to request um, a credit for this one, but I ended up just telling them that I was just letting them know. So it was supposed to be two things of steak fries and they gave me one of these potato puffs. At first I didn't think I was gonna have these because I thought that potato puffs were a lot of points. It turns out it's only one extra point. So the points on this is three points for three ounces and the points on the potato puffs is four points for three ounces. I also picked up these steak and cheese chimichangas for my husband. You all know that he's in maintenance, so he can have a lot more <laughs> points than I do. So these are nine points. And then he also loves White Castle sliders. He, I didn't even realize they had these there, but these are 11 points for two sandwiches. 
and then I got some of the this is similar to the Uncle Ben's ready rice this is seven points for one cup but I usually just have half a cup so that is three points and then some 2% Mexican cheese that's three points for a quarter of a cup a little bit higher than the normal cheese I get but that's okay I picked up some turkey for the subs that we're having I actually still have some ham that I bought last week that I haven't even opened I only used one container and I bought two so I'm going to use that up and these are zero on blue and purple and one point on green I got some English muffins three points these are deli rolls that I got from Aldi these I come up to five points each I'm going to use these for the homemade subs so those are, I think those are pretty good size for five points for each roll. And I think that's it. No, and bread, the bread from Aldi. This is a true one point, one point for one slice, two points for two slices. And then I got a little, a little haul from Publix. And actually part of the reason that I was adding on this haul was because I wanted to get the yogurt, the Greek yogurt, and I completely forgot to add it to my cart. So that's why I'm gonna have to probably try it with that so from Publix I got some water I stocked up on some progresso soup I did not realize that these were so low in points so I thought that would be good to have the night that we have subs and we like to have soup sometimes on the weekend just at lunchtime sometimes on the weekends we might have a big breakfast and so for lunch we don't usually eat lunch and then we have a normal dinner so these will be good on the weekend for that so the Italian style wedding that kind is the highest points believe it or not which you would think that it's not but i guess because of the meatballs meatballs that is two points for one cup or four points for the can and i think on green yeah on green it must have been the same and then i got the chicken noodle light chicken noodle that is one point for one cup or three points for the can I'm just making sure I didn't write anything on the side for this one I wrote the green so that's for all three program all three programs uh, blue purple and green the only difference is the split pea with ham this is one point for one cup or two points for the whole can and then it scanned out that on purple it's only one point for the whole can I'm not really sure why I guess the potatoes that are in it yeah I didn't even think of that uh, and then but this one on green is three points for one cup or six points for the whole can and then I got some log cabin sugar-free syrup so this isn't normally the kind that I usually use but that is all they had and this is zero points for I can't even see what I wrote zero points for one eighth of a cup or you can have up to one point for half a cup anything over half a cup becomes two points and then I got some cool whip uh, one one smart point for five and one eighth tablespoons and some blueberries I love to mix some blueberries in with cool whip or I like to mix the cool whip in with the sugar-free pudding so I did find one <laughs> they had one of these i got the jello brand last week because they didn't have the snack pack so this week they had snack pack i still have a bunch of the jello ones left so it's fine but this is all they had is one pack of the sugar-free chocolate and i think i hit everything it feels like i skipped around a little bit so let me just take a look i think that's it and let me grab my receipt thing the total i spent this week was 32.41 at publix and 133.66 at aldi and that included the tip so the total i spent this week with tip was 166.07 so that is it for my meal plan and grocery haul this week. I hope you all have a great week and I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Christy and I am planning us healthy.